Hello and welcome to today's video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert kilometers to miles and miles to kilometers. Now, the first thing that we need to know, know before we start today is how much one mile is. Now, one mile, as you can see here, if I just circle it for you, you can see that one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. Now, what that means is, if we try to work this out <laughs> mentally, it's really difficult. And, you know, so we need to come up with a mental strategy that we can use to make converting to miles and kilometers um, easier. Okay? <clears throat> now, before showing you the example, we're just going to take a look at the answer. So, in my example, we're going to try and convert 40 kilometers, okay, into miles. Now, the answer is 24.855, as you can see on the screen, okay? Now, in this video today, I'm going to show you two ways that you can convert kilometers to miles, okay? So, we're going to try 40 kilometers, we're going to convert that into miles, And I'm going to be showing you two ways. Okay, so the first way is by using the formula divide by 8, multiply by 5. Now, when changing from kilometers to miles, I should understand that kilometers is the shorter distance. A mile is longer than a kilometre. So my answer should therefore be smaller than 40. Because that's how much I have at the minute. So I'm expecting an answer here that's 40. That is because miles are longer than kilometres. Okay? So, you take the 40. You divide it by 8. So how many 8's in 40? There are uh, five eighths in 40. Then you take this answer and you multiply it by five. So five times five is 25. Okay. So that is method one. Fairly easy. Now method two works like this. I want you to, before I go through method two, I want you to take a look at the answer. Let's take a look at the answer. 24.855 miles. Method one gave us an answer of 25. So it didn't give us the exact answer, but that's not what we're supposed to be doing today. We're supposed to be looking at mental strategies we can use to get close to the answer. Okay. Let's see which method gives us the, the most accurate answer. Okay. So the first answer... <clears throat> the first method gave us an answer of 25, which was quite close, okay, to 24.855. Okay, let's take a look at the second one. So again, I'm going to write 40 kilometers <clears throat> and then miles. So in this method, you divide by 10 and you half... Okay, or divide by 2. That's the same thing. So I'm going to divide 40 by 10. That gives me an answer of 4. I'm going to divide 40 by 2. That gives me an answer of 20. Okay? Now, when converting kilometers to miles, all I do is add the 4 and add the 2 together. 24. So 40 kilometers turns into 24 miles. So as you can see, in our example here, method one was actually the more accurate answer, only slightly though, okay? But it's up to you uh, which one you prefer. So now we've gone from kilometers to miles. I'm going to now show you how to convert from miles to kilometers because it's important that you can do both. So if I can just find this, here we go. <clears throat> I'm 
So, here's the question that we're going to do. So, it's 80 miles. And we're going to change that into kilometers. Okay? So, this is the opposite of what we've just been practicing. So, the answer here is 128.78 kilometers. Okay? But, obviously, again, we can't do that in our head. So, we have to... We have to... Um, Use our mental strategy. So here's method one. Now, when converting from miles to kilometers, you do the reverse of converting kilometers to miles. So instead of dividing by 8 and multiplying fi by 5, what we're actually going to do this time is we're going to divide by 5, but then multiply by 8. And that will give us our answer. So, 80 divided by 5 is... Um, how many 5s in 80? There's... 16... Then, <clears throat> how many? Uh, then I need to multiply 16 by 8. Now, this is one of the downsides of method 1. I'm going to quickly, I can't do that in my head, so I'm going to quickly do 8 times 6 is 48. Then I do 1 times 8 is 80. Then if I add those together, I get 128. So my answer is 128 by doing it method one. So if I take a look at the actual answer, I'm only 0.78 away from the actual answer. Okay, so again, I've got really quite an accurate answer there. Now let's take a look at method two. <clears throat> method two is a little different, different to um, how we did it when we converted kilometers to miles. So let's take a look at the question again. 80 miles converted into kilometers. So I'm going to go through the same process as I did before. I'm going to divide this by 10. Then I'm going to half it as well. So 80 divided by 10 gives me 8. 80 divided by 2 or halved gives me 40. <clears throat> now, when we were converting kilometers to miles, all we did was add 8, these two numbers, 8 and 40. And that gave us the answer. But because I'm going from miles to kilometers, I'm expecting a bigger number here because kilometers are shorter. So what I have to add here is the 8, the 40, and this time the 80 together. So 80 plus 40, 120 plus 8 gives me 128. Um, that's everything for today's video. Um, I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, just a quick recap. Um, so remember... If you are going from miles to kilometers, method one, you divide by divide by five, then multiply by eight, or you divide by ten, divide by two, add them both together, and also add the original number. If you're going from kilometers to miles, then you do the opposite. So you divide by 8, multiply by 5. And if you choose method 2, if you prefer method 2, you divide by 10 as always, divide by 2, and you don't add the original number. Okay, so you just add those two together. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, then please hit me a like and a subscribe.
Thanks for watching.